and welcome to Vixen Tarot 626. Make sure you check out my latest readings. Like, share, subscribe if you're vibing with your girl. We love you guys. Bye. Hey, my love bugs. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm happy to have you. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, as always, I appreciate the love and support that you guys show. I'm here to deliver divinely led messages. I hope that you guys enjoy. As always, take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share, subscribe if you're vibing with your girl. I'm just going to take a minute to cleanse my space and energy of any negative um, energies. Holy Spirit and angels, please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective. Please deny any outside interference, not divinely orchestrated. All right. And let's see what spirit has for y'all today i'm gonna do um all 12 zodiacs so that's what we're gonna do something different see see what spirit has for you know all my different signs today sorry y'all mom life you guys already know i'm a single mom before i tell y'all that all the time so I'm always being needed. All right, so we're going to start with Aries. And whatever comes out, comes out. This could be, you know, related to love. This could be anything, career, anything that's on you guys' mind currently. So um, I am doing Love Oracle, but there's other things in here besides just love. So let's say um, we're going to start with Aries. And these are just going to be short collective readings for each zodiac. Holy Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Aries? Anything that they need to know? Any guidance? Anything that you want them to know, Spirit? Any messages for Aries, Spirit? Okay. So we got addiction in reverse. Fear. And heartbreak. Okay. So, right away, we got somebody who's battling um, with sobriety. Right now, they may be in remission. Um, but with anything, with addiction, you know, there's a lot of fear there. There's a lot of anxiety. They're going to go through depression. Um, you know, they're going through a lot and I don't know if that's you and I don't know if that's your person. So take it as it resonates. Um, somebody was hurt very deeply. Now, I don't know if this heartbreak is the cause of why they started this addiction to cope or if you were affected by an addiction, you may be your significant other, um, battles that addiction and it led to an ultimate heartbreak um on your end because sorry y'all i was hearing something weird okay so yeah so i don't know if this was um heartbreak because of someone's addiction and, and what they're battling with and they caused you heartbreak or um uh, this is the way that this person copes with the heartbreak that they went through and, you know, it puts you guys at odds. So, we'll see. Um, we're going to clarify. Let's pull some tarot. Holy Spirit and Angels, what's the current energy between Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the person that is on their... I guess that was meant to come out. And the person that is on their mind. First of all, let's see what that was. Hi, Priestess. Okay, so somebody needs to um, tap into their intuition and their subconscious. Um, the divine Holy Spirit and angels, somebody is trying to make you uh, or your person have a spiritual awakening. Somebody needs to um, trust in their intuition, trust in yourself. And what, you know, what you feel in your gut. Um, there also may be some secrets at play here. Something that's being hidden from you or your person. Page of Pentacles in reverse. 
Yeah, okay. And I just fucking... I, I'm trying not to curse y'all. I'm sorry. Um, I just said there may be some secrets at play and it pops out with the page of pentacles in reverse. So that's lack of commitment. Um, somebody being greedy, maybe a moocher, a user, um, somebody who's irresponsible, but that comes with addictions as well. So, so yeah, that comes with addiction anyway, you know, people are irresponsible and impulsive so there's lack of commitment there there might have been some cheating going on um and that's probably what led to the heartbreak um page of wands okay so yeah somebody came with <laughs> i feel like somebody got a message um maybe from a third party or from a friend or family member enlightening a situation. Because um, it came out on, you know, for clarification of heartbreak. So you found out about something in terms of infidelity um, from somebody else. It wasn't even from your person. And that ish, you know, it effed you up effed you up. That shit broke your heart. Alright, what else, Spirit? What are this person's um, intentions for the collective? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. The person on the collective's mind, what is their person's true intentions towards them? The tower in reverse. Okay. They're scared. They're scared of change, which it's out here twice. Fear of change. Fear. It's, it's literally out here twice. Um, they want to... They want to transform this connection. It's the tower in reverse. So literally the opposite of destruction. It's the opposite of the tower. So they want to build this relationship up they want to do right by you um they want to avoid disaster by any means you know they want this to stand the test of time so that's their true intentions um so that's a good thing <clears throat> what action Ooh, as soon as i said it y'all hold on <laughs> what action is this person going to take towards the collective um so I got two of cups, unified love, partnership, proposal, marriage, connection, open your heart and receive the love from, from the, from others. So yeah, they're scared, but they're going to take action and they want to do right. They definitely want to do right by you. They just got to overcome this devil energy, these addictions. All right, um, so what's the outcome in this connection? What's the outcome going to be? That's too many, Spirit. Hold on. What's the outcome going to be of this connection with Aries and the person on their mind? What is the outcome going to be, Spirit? Knight of Cups. Um, so this person is going to come to you with their love, basically. And it's up to you whether you take them or not, you know. It's your heart collective. They broke it once. They're definitely capable of breaking it again, especially when it comes to somebody who's dealing with addiction. Because even in remission, people can relapse. Um, so just protect yourself. Use your intuition. And, you know... Be smart when you're dealing with this person. Um, I'm going to do Taurus next. If I can get it to sit there. All right, let's see. I'll shuffle real good. So, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. Let's get the underall energy for Taurus. Oh, 
Holy Spirit and Angels, what is the underall energy for Taurus? And this is what comes out. This, you know, I'm not just doing love. So it's whatever spirit presents. All right. Holy Spirit and Angels, what um, is the message for Taurus? What <coughs> guidance do they need? Anything that you want them to know? What is the underall energy for Taurus? What is the overall energy for Taurus? Holy Spirit and Angels, what is the underall energy for Taurus? I'm going to get a three card spread for you guys. We got two. One more spirit. What is the underall energy for Taurus? Anything that they need to know and guidance. Taurus, sun, and rising. Okay, so it came out. I'm not going to put it back. All right, so we got ghosted. Mm. Crossroads in reverse. Okay. Okay, faded meeting. Liquid courage in reverse and social media. Ooh, juicy. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Mm. Ghosted crossroads, faded meeting, liquid courage in reverse, and social media. I'm going to shuffle these cards, but give me a second, y'all. I just want to see what Spirit's trying to tell me when it comes to this layout. Okay. Okay. Hi, yay, yay. I swear I'm going to get y'all reading out. My kids don't like me to uh, get readings out for some reason, but I'm going to get it out for y'all. All right. So, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. So, we have Ghosted, Crossroads, Faded Meeting, Liquid Courage, and Social Media. So, the story that I got from this, this is the download that Spirit is um, giving me. The person who you were dealing with, um, they ghosted a certain situation that they were involved in. Um, when they met you... They were at a crossroads between whether or not they wanted to stay with this person or come towards you, which I don't even like that energy. First of all, let me just say that because if you're committed to somebody, you shouldn't even be out here shopping. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, secondly, they realized when they met you that because of your chemistry or whatever, there was something about you that they knew this was a faded meeting. Um, you know, it was, it was predestined and, um, they never met anybody like you and, you know, you're just a unique being. You're probably a high priestess or an empress, emperor, um, or hierophant, something like that. So they, Crossroads is in reverse because they realized it's no choice like it's apples and oranges like why am I why would I be at a crossroads when I got a unicorn over here and a donkey over here you feel me so um the issue is is that you kind of intimidated this person um because of your uniqueness and your beauty they weren't used to dealing with people on your level so they kind of didn't have the courage to come at you in that way. Um, but they were definitely stalking your social media or driving past your house. Not on no, you know, not like creepily, but like they wanted to know what you were doing, who you're with, like all that. So yeah, so we're gonna pull some tarot and see what comes out. So, Holy Spirit and Angels and Ancestors, what is the current energy between this person, between Taurus, I'm sorry, and the person that's on their mind? What is the current energy between Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the person who is on their mind? What is the current energy? That didn't even work. <laughs> Y'all, I'm working on my shuffling, so bear with me. <laughs> Let's say. 
What is the current energy between Taurus and the person that's on their mind? What messages do you have for Taurus and the person regarding the person that's on their mind? Oh, too many spirit. All right, well, this one came out. Let's see what we got. Okay. So three of wands. So somebody's planning. Current energy is that somebody is planning to make a move. So they ain't scared no more. So that liquid courage needs to be flipped in the upright. Because <laughs> they get ready to come towards your ass. That's what I feel like. What is the current energy between Taurus and the person that's on their mind? Oh my goodness, Spirit. You give me everything. Hold on. <coughs> what is the current energy between Taurus and the person who's on their mind? So King of Wands in reverse, they don't want to seem impulsive and they, they're planning because they want to make sure that when they come at you, they come at you correctly, right? So, um, <laughs> they're a little bit stressed out about this though, but they're ready to do the work and, um, they're not, they're no, this person might suffer from like, not suffer, but deal with like low self-esteem. Um, cause under liquid courage in reverse, this was when I was saying they don't have the courage to come to you in that, in that way. And now here it's saying self-limiting beliefs, inner critics. So they beat themselves down. Um, maybe they think that they don't have a, ch uh, like you're out of their league or they don't have a chance at you. What else spirit? What is the current energy? But they're, they're preparing. They're making some kind of plan. The Empress. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. They are social media stalking the Empress. <laughs> um, unified love, partnership, mutual attraction, proposal, marriage connection. I just got that Rihanna song in my head. Um, what's that song? How's it go? You're the one that I dream about all day. My love is your love. So yeah, so Spirit just, I just channeled that song for y'all. <laughs> they be thinking about, y'all be on their mind heavy. Ten of Pentacles, they want to make sure that you're, um, you're financially taken care of. Oh, shit, collective. <laughs> yeah, so they coming for you. Yeah, okay, so this might have been a person that, um, Maybe you guys were friends at first and they helped you get through a breakup with somebody else. Okay. They helped you through that situation. They helped you gain perspective and let that go. Wow. Okay. So this person was a shoulder to cry on for you. What else spirit? So we got um, the current energy and, and their intentions, their content, intended, blah, 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 throat chakra, hold on. They're intending to come towards you and make sure that you're good and taken care of. So what's going to be the outcome in this connection between Taurus and the person that's on their mind? What's the outcome, spirit? <laughs> Five of pentacles in reverse. So yeah, they're tired of you being out in the cold. They're, they're going to take care of you. They want to take care of you. You're like their little charity case. That's a that's the uh, message I just got. Positive change. They want to take care of you, collective. What else, spirit? What's the outcome? Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're coming towards you passionately. Ooh, I just got y'all about to have some bomb, Mister Lava Lava. <laughs> Why is all this Caribbean type music coming to my brain? But yeah, y'all about to be y'all about to be hot and steamy in that uh department. Alright, so that's it for Taurus. Let's see. Who's next? We're gonna do Gemini next. Okay. We got Gemini next.
All right, so let's see what we got. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising in regards to, well, actually, in general, what, what message do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what message do you have for Gemini? Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what does Gemini need to know? Any guidance, anything that you um, want to bring to light for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini, Spirit? <clears throat> Friends? What else, Spirit? What messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? Party. <laughs> oh, y'all about to be lit, Gemini. Let me find out. Summer, ooh, ooh, travel. <laughs> And we're doing a three card spread, so I'm gonna put these back. So we got friends, party, and travel. That sounds like a good time to me, Gemini. I wish this was my reading. All right, let's see. <laughs> well, actually, it it is mine because I well, I have Gemini rising, so yeah. Okay, I'm about to be lit right with y'all. <laughs> All right, Gemini. So what's the current energy, Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors regarding Gemini, their friends, partying, and traveling? What's the current energy? Anything that Gemini needs to know? I came right out. Any messages for Gemini, Spirit? Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Somebody's at my door. So we got two of wands. Queen of wands. I like this reading. <laughs> All right. What else, spirit? Let me get one more so I can just read it out. Ooh. Judgment in reverse. Okay. So, Two of Wands is basically making new decisions, leaving home, traveling. I feel like you guys are in the midst of, um, like, healing currently. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who was trying to bring you down. Um, but, yes, yeah, so Spirit is basically saying, like, that shit is over with. You're about to be amongst your friends. You're about to be partying. You're about to be traveling. Um, the self-doubt that you had and lack of self-confidence, um, that's about to be over with too. Like, you're about to go through a whole glow up. Yeah, you've gained... Oh, okay. Two things came out. So, the hanged man um, in reverse. So, basically, there were delays... Um, and basically it was you, you yourself putting yourself down was delaying you from a glow up. Um, so y'all gain perspective and, um, now basically you went through the healing, you're emotionally stable, um, your intuition kicked in and, and you realized how much of a bad you are. <laughs> And basically, like, that's the current energy. So you, you're in the midst of a glow up. The magician. Yeah, action, creation, manifestation, self-confidence, willpower, creativity. Y'all might even be collabing with some friends. Um, 
on like uh, business endeavors. So y'all are all about that bag and just living life. Like, I love this. Anything that the collective needs to know, the collective, anything that Gemini needs to know or anything that they should be weary of. Excuse me. Sorry, y'all. So we got Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, be be practical. Don't overdo the spending. Have fun, but don't um, create a financial pit for yourself. And let go of control issues. Don't let your um, your control issues, anxiety... You're done with that 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 point in your life. The depression, the the worry, the insomnia, trauma is all in the past. Let that shit go. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, have self discipline. Don't keep yourself stuck and stagnant. Um, no reward is gonna come without work. So don't be careless. That's basically what spirit wants you to know when it comes to this glow up. But okay, I see y'all. <laughs> Gemini okay so we're gonna do Cancer next Cancer Sun Moon Rising <sighs> Holy Spirit Angels and Ancestors what um, current energy and what message do you have for Cancer ooh What message do you have for Cancer? Sun Moon Rising. Any messages for Cancer? Sun Moon Rising. Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors, what messages do you have for Cancer? current guidance anything that cancer needs to know holy spirit angels and ancestors what messages do you have for cancer so we got snake what else holy spirit angels and ancestors for cancer sun moon rising Deception, shady, temptation, enemy. Unexpected. What else, spirit, for the underall energy for cancer? Sun, moon, rising. What guidance, what messages do you have for cancer? Divine timing. Okay. Mm. So we got snake, unexpected, and divine timing. Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors, what is the current energy for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding this snake? Please clarify this snake. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. What else, Spirit? What is the current energy for Cancer? Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot in reverse. Okay. So, <clears throat> I feel like you were dealing with somebody, Cancer, um, who was dealing with somebody else in the background. This person who was on, this third party who was on the outskirt. Um, so this third party, the snake that your person was dealing with, um, they had, you know, their hands in, in the connection between you and your person, basically. Um, five of cups is showing that, you know, your person might've felt tempted, you know, into temptation with this, 
this third party, the snake, and they regret that. They regret not giving to you. They regret not coming to you um, when they know that you were the better choice for them. Um, so yeah, what else, Spirit, regarding the current energy between Cancer and the um, person that's on their mind? What is the current energy? The Emperor. Okay. Okay. So it's showing that unexpectedly, unexpectedly, <laughs> unexpectedly, um, either this person is going to step into their energy, their emperor energy, and they're going to release, um, these toxic ties that they have to this snake and, you know, addictive behaviors, um, but this is, you know, it's going to happen out of nowhere when you least expect it. And you might not even be trying to entertain this person at that time. Like, I feel like y'all might be past, past, you know, dealing with their shit. So, um, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you, exactly what I just said. New projects. You guys are going to be in a different energy when this person comes back to you unexpected you're already going to have have done the healing work and moved on from this person and then they're just going to pop up like well i grew up here i am <laughs> like and you're going to be looking at them like okay and <laughs> um so yeah what's the divine timing spirit please clarify divine timing between um cancer and the person on their mind so we got strength what else spirit page of pentacles in reverse and um sorry i can't read the roman numerals upside down <laughs> uh nine i'm sorry four of pentacles in reverse so, with divine timing, I'm getting that when you guys were dealing with this person, they were in low vibrational energy. They didn't have the strength to be committed to you. Um, they were being greedy, possessive, stingy, selfish, self-centered. Like, they were only worried about themselves and... And their little head or their cat, if you get my drift. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's the current energy. Um, Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what is going to be the outcome between Cancer and, and this person? So I got the hangman. Okay. So, yeah, they're going to surrender. They're going to come back in emperor energy. They're going to surrender and let go of old, you know, negative things in their life they're going to go through a spiritual awakening and enlightenment and get deep insight into their life and what they what they're missing out on with you um they were holding back they were indecisive and now they're ready to take a risk and come towards you they're tired of making bad choices yeah so at your reading, Cancer, um, we're going to do Leo next. So, let's get Leo out. All right, Leo. Let's see. <clears throat> just shuffle a little bit so holy spirit angels and ancestors what messages do you have for leo any guidance anything that leo needs to know any messages for leo sun and rising any messages for leo holy spirit angels and ancestors
Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? What's the under, ooh, the underall energy for Leo? What's the underall energy for Leo? What messages do you have? Any guidance? All right. Boom, boom, boom. Three cards. All right, let's see. So we got intu intuition. <clears throat> ooh, throat chakra. Hold on a minute. You have a lighter? I left for a second um, and came back and I just felt like a throat chakra blockage. So I just want to cleanse my energy one more time. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, me too. <clears throat> and my, my friend is having <laughs> throat <laughs> blockage also. So something is in here. So we're going to get rid of that shit real quick. All right. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective. Yeah. I'm right over intuition. So somebody's intuition might be being blocked. Um, look into uh, crown chakra blockage, Leo. Um, but yeah, Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, please protect me as I channel these messages for the collective. Please deny any outside interference not divinely orchestrated. Okay. All right. So yeah. Um, make sure that you check on that, that crown chakra. Um, somebody might be experiencing a blockage right now. And then I have signs and synchronicities. Um, yeah. And, and it was in reverse. So your angels, Holy Spirit and ancestors are trying to communicate with you. However, you've got some kind of blockage, um, and you, in order to, you know, be able to follow your intuition and receive the signs and synchronicities that they're sending to you, um, you got to work on that. And then we have travel, distance, boundaries, far apart, get away. So what I'm getting from that is that you may be surrounding yourself with people that you need to distance yourself from. Um... Because if you're around people with low vibrational energy, they may be blocking you from your uh, divine purpose. So, yeah. Watch who you're around, Leo. And um, cleanse your energy. Anybody, you know, they always say the hater is right up under your nose. So, just watch your back. And start distancing yourself from toxic people. Okay. All right. So what's the current energy for Leo? <clears throat> Spirit, what's the current energy for Leo? Any guidance, any messages, anything that Leo needs to know regarding their intuition blockage? Okay. So we got um, seven of cups in reverse. So alignment personal values, reality, clarity, lack of purpose. I just said that in order for you to step into your divine purpose, you've got to distance yourself from these toxic people. Too many choices. Y yeah, somebody is um somebody needs to go through some spiritual awakening cuz you're you're low vibrational right now. Um Limiting, self-limiting beliefs, inner critic. Yeah, stop beating yourself down to collective. Um, work on your self-esteem collective, Leo. Work on your self-esteem. Releasing guilt and negativity. Self-discipline. Lack of direction, lack of control, aggression. So work on your temper. Don't be careless. Don't be arrogant. Those are all low vibrational energies. So those are things that spirit wants you to work on. Um, being indecisive, your personal alignment and your personal values and the people that you're hanging around, they don't have the same type of morals and ethics as you do. Stop beating yourself down and get, get in gear, self-discipline. Okay, what else spirit? Signs and synchronicities, what? What does this per this too many spirit? What does uh, Leo need to do in order to 
clear their chakras and receive these signs of synchronicities. What do you want them to do, Spirit? What is the guidance that you have for Leo, Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors? Recovery from loss, improvement, learn karmic lessons, and um, forgive people, but move on. Yeah. Okay, so this is a message about to uh, people that you're around that are toxic. That's basically what this is about. What else, Spirit? What else do you have for Leo? Current guidance and, and underall energy. Page of Swords. New ideas, curiosity, new knowledge. Okay, so some of you guys might be going back to school. Some of you guys have been wanting to better yourselves um, as far as uh, in your success. So, you know, some of y'all might be going back to school to get these degrees that you've been procrastinating on because of who you've been putting yourself around you know others of you i got um there's going to be some new contracts made between you and um new business associates but you need more information you need to do more research before you make any moves what else, sir? Clarify this distance and travel. Boundaries far apart. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, please clarify. Distance, travel, boundaries far apart. For Leo. Holy Spirit, please clarify distance, far apart, boundaries for Leo. If nothing comes out, we're going to pull from the top. And this is, okay, so when this happens, when nothing wants to come out, that's another sign to me that there's a chakra blockage. Um... These people who you're around might dibble and dab in black um, negative energy and black magic. So they might have actually, they say be careful who you let touch you. So um, just be careful with that, Leo. Somebody might have put some kind of um, confusion spell on you to keep you from reaching your full potential. Okay, so um, for clarifying boundaries and distance, it's going to be difficult making this decision because this is what you're used to. You've been around these people probably your your whole life or some of you, maybe you've been, you know, friends since high school. Um, you've been weighing your options, whether or not to leave these people alone and, and avoid, you know, um, you've been avoiding making this decision, but it needs to be done because if you don't, you're going to stay stagnant. You have to, you have to be strong and do what you're supposed to do. These people are no good for you anyway, especially if they're in dark energy. They're putting dark energy on you. What else, Spirit? Any other messages for Leo? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> You are a divinely chosen person. You have the diligence, the passion, um, the, the skills, the creativity, whatever you need to prosper in your life, you have it. You have the talents. Matter of fact, you're the, mo you're the master I just got. Yeah, negative self-talk, releasing pain, forgiveness, optimism, recovery, and moving on. You've got to let go of these people. 
so for some of y'all, this might be y'all parents. That's I just got that this is somebody's parents. Or a parent. You gotta move on. All right. Um, what's the outcome with this situation for Leo? What's the outcome with this situation for Leo spirit? Justice. Wow. Wow. <laughs> So whoever's trying to block your blessings is going to get their, they're going to get their justice. Ten of Pentacles. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles and Emperor. Everything was just flying out at once. As soon as I said, what's the outcome? All right. So justice, this person, whoever's trying to block you is going to definitely get their karma. Um, while you are going to be re like bringing in the dough, you're going to have financial security, um, Domestic, love, home, sense of stability. Um, some of y'all might even get an inheritance from a grandparent. And you're going to be an emperor energy. If you're, if, if you're a divine feminine, of course, you're going to be an empress energy. If you're a divine masculine, you're going to be an emperor energy. So it's right there. As soon as you, as soon as you make this decision... It's going to happen for you. And and as soon as you do that, this person's going to get their karma. Right after. <laughs> right after. All right, Leo. That's your reading. I'm going to do Virgo next. Okay. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what messages do you have for Virgo? Any divine guidance, anything that they need to know, anything for Virgo. Excuse me, oh, I keep burping. Sometimes that's something that needs to come out. I feel like that happens when I need to get something out. I burp a lot during readings, that's weird. All right. Anyway, what messages do you have for Virgo? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, any guidance, anything that you need Virgo to know. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. What do you need Virgo to know? Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors. What messages do you have for Virgo? Secret Crush. Friends. And Unexpected. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so... You already know what this is about. That just basically tells the whole storyline right there. You got a secret admirer, Virgo. Y'all are friends. You don't know that they're feeling you. Or or take it as it resonates. Or are you crushing on one of your friends? But yeah, you, you about to get the shock of your life. Because <laughs> they're about to let it be known or you're about to let it be known. Mm -mm -mm. Um, why am I channeling that song? What's that song? Alicia Keys. Jealous of your girlfriend. How's that song go? Uh, it's so old. Oh my God. I think I'm jealous of your girlfriend. She, go listen to that song, y'all. There's a message in that song for y'all. I don't know what it is, but go listen to that song. One of y'all are committed to somebody else. That's basically what it's giving me. Because why did I just channel that song? I don't know. Spirit just gives it to me and just, you know, I'm just here. I just read the cards and let y'all know. <laughs> All right. So, Spirit, what's the current energy for Virgo? Regarding this secret crush, justice and justice in reverse, unfairness, lack of accountability, guilt, dishonesty. <laughs> Somebody wants to cheat on their boyfriend or girlfriend with y'all. <laughs> That's why I channeled that song. 
Don't do it. Don't do it, Virgo. Because if you do it, you're going to have bad karma. And that justice is going to be in, in the upright for your ass. So let them clear that that other person out of there if you're going to be interested in dealing with this person. But somebody got a secret crush on you, but they taken already. Um, Four of Swords in reverse. So exhaustion, burnout, deep contemplation. Yeah, they're sick of their significant other. That's for damn sure. They feel isolated and alone over there. They're not getting treated right where they're at. The chariot, they want to come. <laughs> All right. <laughs> they want to come towards you, collective. I mean, Virgo. <laughs> I'm so used to saying collective, y'all. They want to come towards you. That's how it usually happens when y'all friends. Y'all got that natural co um, connection and bond. Like, y'all are already friends. You trust each other. You already have a sense of loyalty to each other. You're supportive to each other. That's what friends are. What else, Spirit? What's the current energy regarding friends for Virgo? Out in the cold. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. What else, Spirit? I'm not going to say what I think yet. I'm going to let, let Spirit lay it all out. <laughs> So your friend is going through inner, either you or your friend, whoever <coughs> is taken is going through some inner turmoil um, about this. When they go to sleep with this person at night, they got you on their mind. They, they got crazy anxiety about releasing this secret and leaving their significant other out in the cold. But all they think about is you. Or all you think about is them. Take it how it resonates. Mm. You got it, you got it, babe. <laughs> What's the other Usher song? Hold on. You make me want to leave the one I'm with. <laughs> oh, shit, Virgo. Hold on. <laughs> what else, spirit? I'm dropping cards. Hold on, y'all. Always dropping cards. King of Cups. Yeah, they're in love with you. They're in love with you. <laughs> the High Priestess. <sighs> okay, so their intuition is telling them that um, they're meant to be with you. Trust your own. Trust your own counsel first yeah listen to your intuition so either your intuition is telling telling you that you're supposed to be with them or vice versa mm. but like i said let them close that that cycle out with whoever they're with don't interfere because spirit will bite that ass don't do it to yourself virgo what else, Spirit? Any other messages for Virgo? Anything else you want Virgo to know? The Emperor in reverse. Mm. So their, their significant other that they're with right now is domineering and controlling. Queen... Ooh. Be careful with this, uh, Virgo. Queen of Wands in reverse just came out. So, yeah. This person, it, this is like giving me fatal attraction type shit. Like, this person, the way they feel about your friend is like, you're going to be with me or you're not going to be with nobody and I'll kill you. Feel me? Like, that's the type of energy I'm getting from this person. Queen of Wands in reverse is a nasty bitch. And I told y'all I'm not going to be cursing on here, but she's a nasty bitch. She's jealous. She's selfish. And most Queen of Wands in reverse 
is like they definitely deal with dark energies and um confusion spells binding spells mirror magic things of that nature they're very insecure they have no self-respect what's going to be the outcome with virgo in this um connection holy spirit angels and ancestors what is going to be the outcome okay so this your friend is um making plans to move forward from this person holy spirit angels and ancestors what is going to be the outcome with this connection holy spirit angels and ancestors what is going to be the outcome king of wands in reverse they're going to make an impulsive decision to come towards you, but they're still going to, um, they're not going to be still dealing with their significant other, but they didn't close that out. Like they didn't, um, they did it sloppily. So basically they're involving you in their drama. Ace of Pentacles. They don't want to miss the opportunity or miss chance with you. They, they feel like if they don't make a move now, they're never going to get their chance. Hmm. I don't like that. Here we go. Holy Spirit and uh, angels and ancestors, what should Virgo do in this situation? What guidance do you have for Virgo? Sheesh. Okay. Came out first, this one. Okay. Spirit, I'm going to say it, but don't hold me accountable. <laughs> if you don't take a chance on this connection. I, Spirit, why am I saying this? <laughs> if you don't. Okay. So it's basically, Spirit is basically telling me that this is, this four wands. This is a marriage, domestic happiness liberating connection um if you don't take a chance with this person you're gonna regret it make sure they close that shit out uh virgo i'm i'm not telling you what to do i'm just saying make sure that they're done dealing with this queen of wands in reverse because if you don't, I feel like you're going to be sorry. I don't know. But Spirit is saying that this friend of yours is um, it's going to be a happy connection. And it's worth it. I, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'll just read the cards. All right. Um, Libra's next. Where are you at, Libra? Mm, mm, mm. Spirit, let me find out. I'm getting messy, spirit. <laughs> All right, Libra. Let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what message do you have for Libra? Anything that you want Libra to know? Any guidance? Any messages for Libra? Sun, moon, rising. What messages do you have for Libra, Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors? What messages do you have for Libra? Any guidance? Any messages for Libra? Anything that you want them to know? Let me get one more Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors. This was first. Unexpected. Snake. Hookup. Ooh. All right. So, unexpected, snake, and hookup, y'all. Mm, Libra. 
what y'all got going on? <laughs> One, one night stand. Yo, I was just about to say one night stand. Then I looked down at the card and the first line on the card says one night stand, y'all. I can't. It literally says one night stand. So, something got to do with a one night stand. I'm not saying you gave it up on the first night. I'm just saying. <laughs> Spirit saying something got to do with a one night stand. All right, so let's see. I'm going to move this out of my way real quick. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what is the current energy for Libra regarding this unexpected surprise? What does Libra need to know regarding this unexpected surprise? Unpredictable, shocking, unusual. <coughs> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Oh. I don't like that. Something got to do with your money, Libra. Financial failure or loss. Unexpected. Theft. Somebody was trying to steal from you. Somebody that's close to you because you guys were arguing. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, hardworking, routine, responsible. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you work hard for your money. And somebody was going behind your back. Financially independent. You take care of yourself. There was conflict between you and somebody. Whoever this snake is. You shouldn't have trusted them because they deceit they they're deceitful they were trying to use you for your money or they were trying to steal your money behind your back what else spirit what's the current energy regarding this snake and libra oh my god all my cards just want to fly out at the same time hold on y'all all these flipped upside down so i want to put them back What's the current energy between Libra and this snake? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What messages do you have for Libra regarding the snake? Yeah, somebody who's never satisfied. So, Libra, that's how you would know who this person is. They always, they're um, a chronic complainer. They're never satisfied. There was a disconnection between you two. They always act like they're busy. Too busy for you. Um, page of Wands in reverse. Poor communication between you two. This person is somebody who was very hot and cold. So like at some... Okay, so I'm getting... Hold on, let me stop shuffling for a second before I get more cards. Um, so I'm getting like you and this person, they would be all in your face and smiling and like... Um, trying to butter you up, but they would be doing some sneaky shit, trying to take your money behind your back while they're smiling your face. And then as soon as they got what they wanted from you, then they act like they were too busy, can't talk right now, because they're out trying to, um, basically steal from you. You might have, your debit card might have gone missing or MIA for a couple of days. You didn't know where it was and you, like, you saw some transactions you didn't know. Or that, this is, um, specific for somebody. It was this person. Libra, um, any messages for Libra regarding the snake, Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors? I don't like this energy, uh, Libra. Knight of Swords. Okay. You felt like you were always um, on a defense with this person. Like, you felt like they were always coming at you. This is like a keep your enemies closer type situation. Like, 
you thought they were a friend, but they always saw you as an enemy. And they always were in your energy, in your face. Always. So this might even be like a sibling or, excuse me. Okay, that's confirmation. So for somebody, this is your sibling, your brother, your sister. Because I just burped. So yeah, that needed to come out. Somebody, somebody's sibling is a snake. Cut toxic people off, y'all. I don't care who they are. Your kids, your mom, your dad, your auntie, whoever. Cut their ass off. Libra, um, Holy Spirit, angel. Look, see? They won't let me get the message out. Cut their ass off. <laughs> they will not let me get it out. Jesus. Six of cups in reverse, living in the past. Forgiveness, independence, moving forward. I just said that shit. Move on from them. Yeah, cut their ass off. No more trying one more time. No, don't be indecisive about this. You know who this person is, Libra. Fear of change, no. You can't, you gotta let that go. You gotta let that go. All right, um, Holy Spirit, I'm moving on. Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, please clarify hookup. So we got um, seven of cups. Okay, so um, clarify seven of cups, Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors with hookup for Libra. Um, eight of pentacles in reverse. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, please clarify. Hook up for Libra. I want to know about this one nice thing. <laughs> That's what I want to know. <laughs> this, for some of y'all, is not your siblings, and it's somebody that you hooked up with one time. That might just be what it is you know like um or maybe this didn't happen yet maybe you're going to have a one night stand and just watch your wallet <laughs> maybe that's the message for somebody <laughs> like make sure you leave your wallet in your car <laughs> don't take it into the yeah sneaky <laughs> seven of swords betrayal deception theft dishonesty yeah so for some of y'all Y'all were hooking up with somebody and um, this is another message. One of y'all options. Mm -mm -mm. One of y'all options is greedy and they're sneaky. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say about that. Boom, boom, boom. Options. Greedy. Sneaky. <laughs> like, that's the message. Um, yeah, so for some of y'all, it's y'all, it's y'all brother sister and for some of y'all it's somebody that y'all hooking up with or had a one night stand with all right um anything that libra needs to know any guidance that you have for them holy spirit angels and ancestors moving forward i thought it was gonna be juicier than that dang spirit all right temperance okay so if you cut these toxic people off um that's too many spirit. Then spirit is going to put temperance in this, um, into your life. Basically, they're going to balance, balance everything out for you. They're going to make sure that you get the blessings that you're supposed to get. Um, yeah, you're going to find your purpose in life, but these people are not meant to come with you. They're not meant to, um, partake in your, yeah, the devil in reverse. <laughs> Releasing detachment. Let their asses go. That's it. That's all Spirit got to say. Meditation, contemplation. Do what you got to do in order to focus and get rid of these motherfuckers. And um, they'll get their justice. They'll get their bad karma. All right. That's it for Libra. That's your reading, y'all. Um... 
Yeah, anybody, I don't, like I said, I don't care who it is. Cut them off. If they're, if they're bold enough to steal from you right in your face, butter you up to take your bread, let their ass go. I, I don't like no sneaky ass thief at all. And God, Lord knows I got plenty of them in my life that I done had to cut off. All right, who's next? Um, Scorpio. Scorpio. My baby's a Scorpio. Let's see what messages they have for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Any guidance, anything that they need to know. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Heartbreak in reverse. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what message, what guidance do you have for Scorpio? Anything that they need to know. Regret. Oh! Hold on, y'all. I just dropped half my deck. <laughs> All right. Anything else for Scorpio? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, anything that they need to know? Any guidance you have for them? Can we, oh, that's too many. One more spirit. Can we get one more card for a three card spread? Text message in reverse. Okay. So, somebody, um, somebody knows that they broke your heart. They regret it. They want to fix it, um, but they need to go through an ego death because they're not reaching out. So when you wrong somebody and you know you're wrong and you regret it, the right moral and just thing to do is to contact them and apologize. <laughs> But, you know, people with big egos who are still in low vibrational and devil energy, um, they might regret hurting you and they might want to fix it, but their ego won't let them apologize and won't let them come towards you because they think they're the shit for whatever reason. So, all right. Holy Spirit, angels and ancestors, what's the current energy between Scorpio and... And this person. Okay. So this regret is burdening them. One. Um, they feel like it, it's, it's too much for them. Like they're almost in a depressive state. They can't. They can't keep going on like this. Um. They're building up the courage to come to you. And <coughs> they're ready to accept the worst, which would be a hell no from you. They have a pessimistic, pessimistic, Jesus Lord, um, <laughs> pessimistic outlook on this situation. They feel like you're basically going to laugh in their face if they come at you. They must have broke your heart real bad. Um... Seven of Pentacles, they're ready to put in the hard work and invest in you. Okay. So it seems like this person might have really turned, you know, a new leaf. Um, the Emperor came out as well. So they really regret what they put you through. Uh, like, there, there's no mistake about that. And they might have, you know, underwent spiritual awakening and stepped into their emperor energy. This might be a twin flame soulmate connection. Scorpio. Spirit, clarify this regret. What message do you have for Scorpio regarding this regret? Wrong choice, apology, mistake, guilt, regret. 
What message do you have for Scorpio regarding this regret, mistake, guilt, wrong choice, apology? How many is this? That's a lot. No, that's too many, Spirit. I can't. That's too many. Yeah, regret. They're in Ten of Swords. They're, like I said, they're almost like dep in depressed state. They are. They're depressed. They're in Dark Night of the Soul. They might even be suicidal over this shit. <clears throat> and I'm not saying just from losing you, but they, they probably are. Spirit is busting out some karma on their ass. So they're going through a lot. Guarantee you their finances took a hit. Um, it says collapse. Like literally they have no drive in life right now. But they are ready to come back towards you because they know that you made them happy you know what else spirit regarding scorpio and this regret yeah they think that you're gonna walk away from them and basically laugh in their face like i said which it's possible you might depending on what they did they feel abandoned Queen of Wands. <clears throat> yeah. Courage is out here twice. They're really working up the courage to come towards you. Yeah. They, you gave them a zest for life. You made them determined. You gave them joy and happiness. You, bo you boosted their confidence up. You're independent. You're beautiful. Handsome. Whatever. Take it as it resonates. Did that just flip over? No. Spirit, clarify text message in reverse. Spirit, clarify text message in reverse. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. <clears throat> Spirit, clarify text message in reverse. For Scorpio, any messages that you have for Scorpio, any guidance, anything that you need Scorpio to know regarding text message in reverse. Fool in reverse. Yeah. They're holding back. They were indecisive whether or not they were going to come to you because their their ego is afraid of rejection. Um, but it looks like they are going to come towards you. They are no longer indecisive to a swords. They've made up their mind. They're coming towards you. Page of swords. They have a plan. <laughs> they want to negotiate. <laughs> Scorpio, <laughs> this person wants to negotiate your heart. I'm done. <laughs> oh, if you just give me one more chance, baby, I swear I'll make it up. I just got on bended knee in my head. I just channeled the song um, uh, Boys the Men on bended knee. Go listen to that. Collect I'm sorry, Scorpio. There's a message in that song for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right what's going to be the outcome between scorpio with this connection the star in reverse okay so you don't trust their ass <laughs> you trust yourself and you're disconnecting <laughs> that's what they get the hell look you're gonna have them stuck <laughs> oh shit nine of swords they about to be mad. They're about to be back and depressed and hopeless and freaking despair. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not right laughing at this. But I think this shit is so funny when you treated somebody with the utmost respect and gave them genuine love. And then they just turned around and shitted on you, broke your heart. And then they want to come back on bended knee like, boy, bye. <laughs> The, wait, Scorpio said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, let me stop laughing at y'all situation. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. What's going to be the outcome between Scorpio and this, uh, the, the connection with this person? This is the last one. Oh, my God. That's the laugh I needed. King of Swords. Yeah. <laughs> Scorpio said, hell to the nah, bruh. I'm good. Yeah, you chucking up the deuces. 
and your sage in your house. <laughs> Why did I just get that? Wait, you're cleansing your energy from this person. They must have really did some shit. Oh, well. Listen, hey, Spirit said that's going to be the outcome. You told their asses. Nah. Next. Thank you. Next. Thank you. Next. All right. Who's next? Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. All right. Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Any guidance? Anything that you want them to know? Any messages for Sagittarius? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Oh my God, I can't shuffle today. Okay, this wants to come out. Mask. Hidden motives. Concealing, disguising, lying. Mm, dun, dun, dun. Masks. Sagittarius. You got a mask on? Or you dealing with somebody who got a mask on? What else? Change. Okay. Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, cycles. What else? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What message do you have for Sagittarius? And the underall energy for their reading. <clears throat> Third party. Interference, cheating, competition, mistress. Mm. Lion ass biatch. Somebody's a lion ass biatch. All right, let's see. Let me shuffle y'all. Sagittarius. <clears throat> what does Sagittarius need to know? What's the current energy? between Sagittarius with masks. What does Sagittarius need to know when it comes to masks? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what message do you have for Sagittarius regarding masks? Oh my goodness, why are my cards going wonky? All right. Yeah, okay. Yes. Oh my God. You can't make this shit up, bro. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, seven of Wands. So somebody clearly was lying in your face, had you in competition, juggling you, Two of Pentacles, Three of Cups, third party situation. This person was cheating on you the entire time, Sagittarius. And lying in your face, acting like you were everything they needed more and professing their love wearing a whole mask wow holy spirit angels and ancestors what's the message um for sagittarius regarding change regeneration growth metamorphosis cycles sheesh hold on a minute y'all i dropped it What is it? Death. What? Yo. Y'all, I really cannot make this shit up. Like, spirit really lays out what y'all need to know. Um, so under change, regeneration, growth, and metamorphosis and cycles, we got death, which is endings, new beginnings, change, transformation, transition, metamorphosis, end of cycles. It literally says the same exact thing. Death change crazy metamorphosis metamorphosis end of cycles cycles transition change yeah it's time to get rid of this person you literally this was a karmic lesson that you needed to learn in order to blow up that's what this was so this person was probably sent um to you to learn something um, about yourself, some kind of self-reflection, maybe some childhood trauma um, wounding and healing 
or PTSD healing, something that you needed to heal within yourself. Yeah, so spirit is urging you to take on new projects, find inspiration. Um, you're going to go through a glow up. You got new opportunities and growth out here, new beginnings. So find the willpower to get up, brush that shit off, and try again. Your life is about to change. Take action on your ideas, it says. What else, spirit? What message do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising? What else, spirit? What messages do you have for Sagittarius? Uh, they have all the messages, collective. I mean, Sagittarius. <laughs> they got all the messages for you. <laughs> 25 cards worth. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, hold on. I'm fix my card, y'all. Anything else that... Hmm? Okay, two of cups. Okay. Um, so spirit is telling me that you are gonna have a destined partnership. Um, there's gonna be love that comes to you. You know, the this is marriage, um, material type love. Great connection. Um, so don't have lack of faith. The star in reverse. Don't don't be discouraged because you feel like every connection that you get into, um, you're always let down. Just heal, focus on yourself, and in, you know get your inspiration and move forward. Excuse me. Yep. Spirit said that's the truth. I needed to come out every time I burp, y'all. That's confirmation. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. I don't even burp like that, but every time I get on here and start doing readings, I got to burp every 10 seconds. That's spirit trying to get stuff out. All right. What else? Third party spirit, please clarify. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. So this person cheated on you because of something to do with finances. King of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Their ass is greedy, materialistic, obsessed with wealth and finance. And their ass didn't get nothing out this third party because it's King of Pentacles in reverse. So their plan or whatever they had, you know, look, yeah, conflict, loss, disagreements, it fell through. Whatever they were trying to be sneaky about and basically finagle out of this third party when it, it, it turned into a fight, they might even got physical. Yeah. They literally clashed and argued and then might have even put their hands on each other. And then it was a wrap. This third party saw right through them and their stupid ass mask that they have on. So, and that's two masks. One, they're um, a gold digging ass thief. That's one. And two, they're a cheater. So that's two masks that they had on with you. This is not the type of person that you want. So, yeah, brush this shit off, um, Sagittarius, and move on. Queen of Wands. Um, so, for the outcome, I got Queen of Wands and um, Six of Wands. So, basically, you're going to come out... <clears throat> uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Triumphant. You're going to come out triumphant in the situation. Your your courage, your I mean your confidence is going to skyrocket. You're going to have a glow up. You're going to be independent. This person is going to be um you're always going to be like the person the the one who got away to this person. Um yeah, and and they're also because you basically cut them off and stood in your power, this person's going to have like a lack of confidence. Like you bruised their ego. They thought that they were going to have you um, wrapped around their finger. Yeah. And they're not even going to be getting the same type of attention they were getting from other options anymore because... Okay, so y'all might live in the same community and y'all might know a lot of the same people. And I'm getting that because you turned this person down, other people are looking at them like they ain't shit now. So that's the message I got from this. 
So that's the outcome. Um, that's your message, Sag that's your reading, Sagittarius. Uh, who's next? Um, Capricorn. Capricorn. I don't know what that song just was. The Capricorn song. <laughs> All right. Where's Capricorn at? On the other side? Yeah. Flip it, switch it. This is the wrong deck, but I got to shuffle this anyway for the reading. So we might as well just do it now. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what messages do you have for Capricorn? What guidance do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising? Anything that you need them to know? Okay. Anything that you want Capricorn to know, Holy Spirit and Angels? What messages do you have for Capricorn? Holy Spirit and Angels. Anything that you need them to know? Any guidance for Capricorn? <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising. Anything that you want Capricorn to know? Ghosted. And what messages do you have for Capricorn? Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors. Somebody's chakra is blocked because I'm having a hard time getting cards to come out for you, Capricorn. So that might be you or your person. <clears throat> hmm. You might be pulling from the top, Capricorn. What's going on, y'all? Where your energy is blocked. Yeah, somebody's got some kind of chakra blockage going on. All right, so we have ghosted <clears throat> proposal. And home okay so that's the underall energy for Capricorn Holy Spirit angels and ancestors please clarify ghosted ten of swords so either you ghosted somebody or you were ghosted by somebody and um, it was a very painful ending um, somebody might have been um, very depressed, felt betrayed. They felt like their whole world was crumbling down. Either you or the person you were dealing with. What else, Holy Spirit? Ooh. Angels and ancestors, what messages do you have regarding ghosted? Yeah. You felt like everything was going good with this person and then they just ghosted you and it it left you with self-doubt, um, fear of the unknown. So like you felt like this was swiped right from up under you. Um, and then you just felt like you didn't know where to go from there. Wow. Okay, and Spirit just gave me a message too. So when you deal with somebody, always have a backup plan because people are not perfect. Um, they hurt you, you know. So make sure you have money stacked in the bank so that you're, you'll be okay financially. You don't end up homeless. Um, yeah. This person ghosting you messed up your um, your personal goals. You had goals and and. A life planned with this person the tower in reverse yeah it messed with your personal transformation and now you have a fear of change you have abandonment issues you felt like you're um very restless and your your life was just in a collapse oh i'm sorry capricorn all right, what's this proposal about Holy Spirit, Angels, and Ancestors? Please clarify proposal for Capricorn. <sighs> they were dealing with somebody else. 
they put you in competition with somebody else and they proposed to this person, this other person, and you found out about it. Or you may not have found out about it, but they basically ghosted you because they they were engaged. They became engaged. And instead of being a man or a woman and letting you know what happened, they just ghosted you. Yeah, and it left your, it, like I just said, it left you in self-doubt. You were talking yourself down. You thought it was your fault. Wow. You had a hard time recovering and moving on from this situation. I'm cursing, YouTube. What a dickhead. They don't like us to cuss, but I don't care. This person's a dickhead. Special place in hell for a person like this. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah. Yeah. That's the... This is... King of Wands in reverse is like... Besides Emperor in reverse. It's like one of the worst people that you can be in the deck. Like... They're just an a-hole. Period. Dickhead. Like I said. Okay. So somebody from their... They might have had a crush on this person since like high school. They might have been high school sweethearts and they reunited and they ended up um, like this just came out of nowhere. Like you guys might have been together for like five, I'm getting five, five to ten years. You were with this person for five to ten years and they ghosted you and went and chased a fantasy childhood in fantasy. What a scumbag. All right, spirit. Um, clarify home for Capricorn. Three of cups. Yeah. They moved this. <sighs> this is fucking low, yo. <laughs> they moved this person into y'all home. That y'all shared together. Mm. Three of Wands. Move forward. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So Spirit will bring you abundance. When you heal from this and move forward, you will find new love. Um, better, a better home than what you had. More stability long-term success a happy family but you have to release this hurt and pain and you have to heal from this first anything else that you want capricorn to know spirit any other messages that you have for them queen of cups in reverse yeah take care of yourself self-love um don't be codependent Don't be codependent on people. That's what I was saying earlier. Um, stack money and, and have your own little savings so that you're good. King of Pentacles, yeah. Make sure you have your own money set aside so that you don't end up homeless. I just said that. That's crazy and overburdened. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and broke. Yeah. All right, Capricorn. How was your reading? Um, let's see who's next. Aquarius. Aquarius. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Any messages that you want Aquarius to know? What messages do you have for Aquarius? And it flew across the room. Travel. Okay, so distance, boundaries, far apart, get away, travel. What else? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. That's too many spirit. All right. Any messages? That... <gasps> okay, we'll take it. Travel, liquid courage, healing in reverse, and break up. Mm. 
All right. Spirit, clarify travel for Aquarius. Okay. So somebody was holding their love back from you, Aquarius. Um, this person's very materialistic. And they might have distanced themselves from you. Like, you felt like they were being distant with you. Um, giving you the bare minimum when it comes to the love that you deserve. Um, yeah, so you decided to heal from this. Um, move on, but you did it in a toxic way. Either that or, or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. So this could be, you know... You holding your love back from somebody, um, giving them the bare minimum in the relationship, and they decided to move on from you. But in order to cope, somebody was um, doing intoxicated behavior, so indulging in alcohol, drugs, um, gambling, anything, sex, anything that you can have a addiction to to cope. Spirit, please clarify liquid courage for Aquarius. Ten of Swords, yeah. Yeah, you were hurt. Okay, so yeah, this person was holding back their love from you. Gave you the bare minimum. That's too many spirit. Um, and you moved on from them, but you did it to in a toxic way. You didn't want to deal with the pain and the emotions. So you numbed your, your mind. What else, sir? What else, Spirit? The tower in reverse. Instead of going through personal transformation, you had a fear of change. So you basically... Um, uh, yeah, you, liquid courage. It's, I mean, it speaks for itself. Okay. So I'm getting that you were doing this for a little while and then you had an epiphany, a sudden awareness and you you wanted you realized that nothing's going to get better without healing. So <clears throat> you chose you, you wanted to be happy. What else spirit clarify? Healing in reverse for Aquarius. Clarify healing in reverse for Aquarius. Clarify healing in reverse for Aquarius. Two of Swords. <sighs> yeah, you were avoiding. You were avoiding healing. You were staying stagnant. Listen to your inner voice when making choices. Use your intuition. If you're still in the healing process from this hurt and pain, please listen to your intuition. This is too many spirit. What else for Aquarius spirit? What other messages do you have for Aquarius when it comes to healing in reverse? So we got five of swords. You were dealing with conflict in your life and your healing was put on the back burner. Um, you had sneaky people in your life and abusive relationships going on. Not, just not love relationships. I'm talking about like friends, family. Um, King of Wands came out. Um, so Spirit is urging you to look at the bigger picture. Stay focused. Overcome these challenges. Spirit, clarify breakup for Aquarius. Walking away, ending separation, it's over. Basically, the cycle between you and this person who was... Really, it was like a one-sided relationship. Um, Spirit's basically saying that shit's over with. But let's say clarify breakup. For Aquarius spirit. 
Please clarify breakup for Aquarius. What message do you have for Aquarius regarding breakup? Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this person wasn't giving you no love. So take care of yourself. Don't be codependent. Don't be insecure. This person was unfaithful to you, so they might have even been cheating on you. What else, Spirit? Please clarify breakup for Aquarius. Cheating, lying ass, unfaithful ass. Um, five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, agree to disagree and move on from this person. It'll give you peace of mind. You'll be able to, to stop indulging in this um these addictive behaviors over here. But you have to go through the pain. You have to do the healing. Stop avoiding it. What's the outcome of this for Aquarius spirit? What's the outcome? The magician in reverse. What's the outcome, spirit, for Aquarius? That's too many. What's the outcome for Aquarius, spirit? Okay. Yeah, this person is going to try to come back and manipulate you. Um... Spirit is saying, leave their ass out in the cold or you're going to go through financial loss. Um, stay in a poverty mindset. And your insecurities are going to resurface. You're going to go right through. The Spirit says that's the truth. <laughs> Ace of Swords just flew out. Yeah, basically, this is a karmic lesson that you need to learn. If you go through the cycle again, the same exact thing is going to happen. They're going to cheat on you. They're going to break your heart. They're going to um, keep their love to themselves. It's going to be a one-sided connection. You're going to have to go through this toxic um, addictions again. You're going to be avoiding healing. And then y'all is going to be a breakup all over again because you didn't learn the lesson. So listen to spirit. That's your reading, uh, Aquarius. Mm, that's heavy. And last, I'm going to do Pisces. Last one, then I'm going to close out, y'all. Let's shuffle. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what messages do you have for Pisces? Anything that you need them to know? What messages do you have for Pisces? Sorry, I had to check on my baby. They're sleeping, but got to check on them. All right. What messages do you have for Pisces? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Last but not least. Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. What message do you have for Pisces? Any guidance? Anything that you want Pisces to know? Anything that you want Pisces to know? Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors. Any messages for ooh, too many? Hold on. Any messages for Pisces? Any messages for Pisces? No. Okay. Truth. Confession, clarity, reveal secrets. Oh my God. Woo, everything is popping out. All right. Regret in reverse. Mm, that's harsh. What else, Spirit? What else do you have for Pisces? Should I take these, y'all? I feel like too, so many of them. No, there's too many, Spirit. Let's, I want a good a good reading, a good energy, like clean energy. Oh, my gosh. Pisces, y'all been being messy? 
Because everything is popping out. Everything, everything. Can we get one more Holy Spirit Angels and Ancestors for Pisces? Can we get one more card for a three card spread? Anything else that you want to tell Pisces? Anything else that they should know? Any guidance? Okay. Legal matters. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Um, the message that I'm getting from this is crazy, but I'm going to let Spirit lay it out in the cards because I already know what it is. <laughs> but I'm going to let Spirit tell it. I'm getting somebody was, you know, somebody was dying inside with a confession that they needed to make. They don't regret the decision they made. And um, it ended it, it ended up in where it is going to end up in somebody having to pay some alimony, some child support, some divorce, something is going to be going on here. So let's see. Uh, Holy Spirit, angels, and ancestors, please clarify truth, confession, clarity, reveal secrets. The chariot in reverse. Um, five of swords in reverse. Wow, that's harsh. <clears throat> so I'm getting that. Take it as it resonates, Pisces. You or your person is moving away from the other. Um, you no longer want to be in this connection or they no longer want to be in this connection. They confess some truths. They might be in love with somebody else. Um, and the way that the energy that I'm getting from this is like very like nonchalant like they don't even give a fuck like they're just like yeah i don't love you no more like type stuff like that's crazy harsh to me um five of swords yeah no remorse cutting losses desire um no desire to forgive no desire to reconcile They, yeah, like, they're done with the situation, or you're done with the situation, the Hierophant. Yeah, so y'all going to be going to court for something. They only stayed in this connection, or you only stayed in this connection so long because of uh, social approval. Maybe y'all families, uh, maybe this was like an arranged marriage type situation. Wow. Regret and reverse spirit, please clarify for Pisces regret and reverse or y'all did this. Y'all got married because um, uh, somebody got pregnant is a religious thing. Okay, so what came out in the upright? I got 10 of cups in reverse. Yeah, you got. Okay, so there was no love in this connection. Um. It was like a, a can't get, you know, I might as well just stay in it. It can't get worse type of situation. There was no love in an in inevitable end. Wow. Ugh, I don't like this. Who the hell wants to be in that type of connection? Or maybe it was just very one-sided. Maybe you guys loved each other in the beginning and then, you know, down the road somewhere it turned for the worst, but... Somebody has no regrets about leaving a connection. Either you or the, or um, this person you're dealing with. But Spirit is saying remain um, calm, remain hopeful, heal. Uh, new purpose is going to be revealed. Um, good fortune, good karma on your side. Yeah, um, take care of yourself. greedy strings attached so yeah when you you guys are going to end up in court and somebody's going to have to pay alimony or somebody's going to have to pay child support 
unfortunately you're you're dealing with somebody that you're going to have to deal with and be cordial with due to children or due to um financial obligations and spirit is saying they know it's unfair but um good karma is on your side so or take it as it resonates some of y'all you know are out here in karmic energy so good karma may not be on your side um you know which side you stand on so let's see um as far as legal matters yeah nine of pentacles somebody's going to be paying up buku bucks <laughs> it's good somebody's going to be very financially stable because of this um award ten of pentacles wow <laughs> Oh, shit. Somebody about to be paying some serious money, Pisces. I hope that they're going to be paying you. I'm, I just got a message from Spirit. Somebody cheated in this um, connection and got caught. And then they had uh, the other person had evidence of it. Now it's going to be brought up in court and this person's going to have to pay because they broke their vows. King of Swords. Yeah. Yeah, spying news. Yeah. Okay, you might have been spying on this person and, and got pictures for yourself. Or you hired a private investigator and got pictures. Um, this whole situation left you exhausted, burnt out, isolated. Yeah, there was definitely some, some um, the moon, some hidden, hidden, um, Illusions and, and lies in this connection. Spare anything else that uh, the hermit. Completion. Yeah. Okay. You're going to be celebrating life after this. You're going to be getting money from this person. They're going to have to pay you. This is very... Um, this is meant for somebody. Like This is not going to res resonate with everybody. Um, Eight of Swords. Yeah, release negative thoughts. Stay open to uh, a new perspective of life. You're going to be good. Spirit's going to make sure that you're taken care of. Anything else for Pisces, Spirit? Anything else that you want them to know? Anything else? Yeah, your wishes are going to come true. You're going to be, um, you're going to be, lu luxury is out here twice. That's crazy. Yeah, you, this person's going to be paying you some money, Pisces. You're going to be emotionally stable. You're going to be healed up, glued up, pockets fat. Everything has turned out well. Enjoy your success. Wow. Well, say less, sir. Shoot. Pisces, that was your reading. I hope it resonated. Um, let me know if y'all like uh, the Zodiacs. If so, I'll do it. Maybe I can do it once a week for you guys. Um, comment below. Let me know anything that, you know, I should add, anything that you'd like me to do for you guys. Um, I'm open to suggestions. I hope you guys like these messages. If so, hit that like button, share, subscribe if you're vibing with your girl. And see y'all next time. Love you. Bye.